Hi there, and welcome back to Tough to Fly. It's uh, well, a couple days later after that uh, huge storm. Well, I never want to go through that again. Uh, my hat's off to anyone who's uh, gone through a tornado. That wasn't even a tornado, but the hail and the rain that we got, it's a matter of a couple hours. Well, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Uh, streets are flooded. Uh, we finally got the power back on, and the neighborhood is alive with the sound of chainsaws, uh, wood chippers, and uh, well, every machinery on mankind. Cause everyone lost trees. But it's just well, everything's a mess. So I've been spending the last few days trying to clean up the pond. Uh, my one pond. I don't even know what to do with uh, with all my pumpkins in it. It's full of plums, and I had to get them all out before they well, they ferment and turn to alcohol and poison the pond and kill them all. So that was a I had to do that really quick. Uh, it's just everything shredded, everything broken. Some of my trees survived, some some didn't, as you you're gonna see. Anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Know that uh, you know we're safe. We got through it okay, and the main thing is no one uh, was hurt uh, during this uh, terrible, terrible storm. Uh, well, well, come on, I'll take you through it, and then uh, we'll take a look at the ponds and see how they're doing now. This is the front of my house right after the rainstorm. Yeah, all that fell. A matter of a couple hours and it's still filling up I can't believe it again this is just a small thunderstorm that popped up and just locally hit us and well you can see how much that water is uh, going up everyone including me are busy uh, unclogging the drains that are full of uh, Please. This is a few hours after the actual storm. The green that you see all over the deck is, well, and they were leaves that were shredded uh, from the hail. It, well, it's, it's, it's a disaster. What a mess. The power's off. At this point, I have no idea how long it's going to be off. I'm presuming a couple of days. Look at these, this ice. This is all hail. And it's been melting for the last couple of hours. I just started filming now. Some of those uh, hailstones were bigger than golf balls. You may have seen that on my uh, short video. Look at the greenery here. All on the deck. Just from all the leaves being shredded. The grandkids' uh, pool or wading pool was actually uh, on its side and it was flipped over because of the wind and it filled with about five inches of rain in that uh, short rainstorm of about two hours. I really can't get over how everything is just shredded. That hail came down so hard and so quick that it just broke everything in its path. All my lights uh, from the posts are all destroyed. You know, I'm still going around trying to find out everything. This was a flower pot that was, well, put out halfway throughout the pond. Just when I got the pond nice and clear, too. Now everyone's going to ask, how are the koi? They're fine. Unlike this palm tree and its planter, looks like it was shot with a shotgun. All that hell in behind. And even attacked my favorite watering can. There'll be lots of sweeping. I filmed this uh, a day and a half later when the power turned back on. 
there was ample oxygen in the pond for the koi to be fine. I was more worried about the uh, fish downstairs uh, because I don't have a generator. And uh, I was getting quite worried, actually. But they did fine. My plum tree and my plums, not so much. But all the plums all over my deck. And everything's just, well, it's a mess. My lettuce is shredded. Uh, I guess you can get that shredded lettuce. Okay, Stub, that's a terrible pun, even for you. Look at my poor watering can. What did it ever do to deserve that? <laughs> to be honest, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. It's just... I'm going to have to get into the ponds and take out all the leaves and branches. Because there is a lot of branches and... My skimmer box is working uh, double time, having to clear it out every hour. Just everything's just totaled. Just going over all the damage, and I just noticed something. I'm missing a tree. It's gone. At least the top half of it is. I guess I better talk to my neighbor. I'm pleasantly surprised how, well, how clear the water still is. I got a bit of glare, but I, I can see down about six feet. Now this pond is only three feet deep, but it's clear and my shabumpkins are they're pretty deep right now. I'd say they're two and a half feet down. So that's pretty clear. I'm pretty happy with that, but my bog garden, I rely on that to keep the water clean. These guys are definitely uh, not stressed over anything at all. Even after me getting into the pond. They just want, well, food. I really am happy with how clear that water is. At least some of my lilies survived. I should have filmed this earlier when you could see right to the bottom. Because that's over six feet deep. And it's, well, it's crystal clear. If you're wondering why these lilies don't look as bad as the others, they were protected by this uh, spruce tree here. See, the storm came from the north, which is really weird, because usually storms come from the east or the west, predominantly the west. Uh, I've never seen one come from the north before, and well, it was that was about one of the few things that were protected. Most of my gardens, well, they look like this, shredded, just beaten and pulverized. All that work I did over there. Not for nothing, they're all perennials, so they'll be back next year. But, yeah, the gardening season for Stubbs Aquatics is officially over. Well, you have to look at the positive side. I won't have many leaves to fall in my pond now. My wife's always telling me to look for the positive. Okay, you gluttons, I'll feed you. My uh, bog gardens, well, they're pretty much done for the year. Uh, some of the plants uh, will continue to do well throughout the rest of the summer. Some, most of them, 
Uh, I'll be waiting back uh, for the, the spring of next year for them to do anything. And that's going to be a shame because, well, there's just so much mess here. And the bog gardens are a big part of my filtration. Look at that poor crab tree. Wow. Hardly a leaf left in it. This poor tree has been through a lot. It's been hit by lightning, it's been snapped in half, and still going strong. People ask me why I still have this crab tree. Well, it was planted uh, the day my daughter was born. So it's staying. It's been here 34 years. It's going to be here a lot longer. And the blue spruce that you can kind of see back there, but not. Well, that was planted the day my son was born 30 years ago. That's staying as long as we're here. And just in case you don't know, by chance, ponds are named after our kids, Carling and Chase. Hence the name Lake Karcha. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this installment of Stubbs Aquatics. Uh, remember, hit that like button, think about subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Remember, I'm trying to hit that 2,000 uh, subscriber goal. Almost there. You can use your help. Thanks. We'll see you around real soon.